Chapter Pleiadians Constellation Pleiades is known as Seven Sisters. In the Northern Hemisphere it rises up in the sky late at night. It is easy to recognize as it is a tight small cluster which looks like a cloud in the, in the sky, a little cloud in the sky. I usually first find Cassiopeia which is easiest to find, it's a W. From there I go down and to the left and I find the polar star. And from there I go to the, in the same direction down to the left and I find Pleiades. Among Pleiadian stars among Pleiades, two are most relevant to the Earth, most related to the Earth, Taigeta and Maya. Mayan civilization, we are told, has come from Maya, from the Maya star, uh, flourished on Earth, and then left the Earth back to the to their star, to the Maya star. We still don't know why did the Maya, Mayans leave the Earth but most likely it was a, an unsuccessful experiment. They um, lost their way and that's why they had to leave the planet. Uh, the main Mayan civilization on the Maya star is very advanced, very spiritual and uh, very enlightened. In recent years they started to channel to us and um, uh, engage again in the, in the, in the interactions with uh, the Earth people. The civilization on the star, on the Pleiadian star Taigeta, is likely most closest to the uh, to the Earth in terms of appearance and culture. The main planet for this civilization is called Erra, and it is the third planet of the star Taigeta in the Pleiadian system. It is not a coincidence that our planet is called Earth. Gaia and Terra and the sister civilization or the parent civilization for us or the sister civilization for us is called is, it occupies a planet called Erra. Both Mayan and Terran civilizations are now in fourth density. A long time ago Pleiadians actually came from Earth. The Earth was their historical home. And to Earth, um, this civilization, our civilization, came from Orion. So our ancient home is Orion. One of our ancient, ancient origins is Orion. So uh, aliens from Orion came to Earth and to Pleiades. And at certain point, uh, for, uh, they moved from Earth to Pleiades as well. While Pleiadians are in the fourth density, we are in the third density and that happens that uh, happened because we fell from the fourth density to the third density uh, during and after the destruction of, during the destruction of Atlantis. It was a big uh, war and um, ecological disaster that greatly destroyed our civilization and uh, shifted us to the lower lower density existence. The last um, wave of destruction happened about 23,000 years ago and at that time we lost our technology, um, dimensionality, the arts, the uh, memory of the past generations and started developing the civilization from scratch. Some of Atlantean knowledge was kept by uh, secret societies and priests and now some of it surfaces up and uh, enriches our culture. So some, some people from Atlantis uh, escaped from the planet and moved, moved to Ple Pleiades. So Pleiadians and humans have uh, much of common genetics and there was uh, much of uh, exchange uh, of um, visitors actually much of visitation of Pleiadians to the Earth in different times. Some Pleiadians would come and live on Earth and, um, and um, marry into humans and, and continue in, in, um, 
and continue continued bringing uh, a four-dimensional DNA into our, our third-dimensional world. The infusions of uh, four-dimensional DNA into third-dimensional uh, human race helped kept helped to keep us high, and many Pleiadian lineages were uh, great teachers of our ancient times. Modern Pleiadian culture is different from Orion culture and the Earth is gradually moving from the Orion model to the Pleiadian model of culture. The Orion model involves the idea of hierarchy, uh, empires, uh, control, the fight for power, wars. So most of these um, ideas were brought to us with the Aryans who moved from Orion to, to the Earth. Since then, the Pleiadians developed the idea of democracy, equality of love and uh, compassion. This society is more horizontal, more uh, less structured, and uh, uh, in many ways resembles resembles tribal tribal society structure. Earth humans who visited Pleiades say that Pleiadian culture in many ways res in many respects re resembles the culture of uh, of tribal aliens in the movie avatar they are they have a great respect for nature and uh, although they have high technologies they um, they build their life with great respect and harmony with nature Many Pleiadians incarnate on Earth as Earth humans. Many Pleiadians uh, work in solar system to protect the solar system from uh, negative attacks and um, help the humanity to evolve and, and ascend. Uh, Pleiadians from Era, many Pleiadians from Era look like Earth humans and if they walked on the street, they could pass as humans. Usually they are taller than Earth humans, but they have the technologies that allow them to reduce their height quickly. Most of aliens of four dimension uh, live long, longer lives, about between 300 and 1,000 years. And they have the technologies to uh, change the body uh, technologically in many ways. For example, to become younger, to heal, to uh, transform the uh, color of the skin uh, and color of the hair and appearance. It is done painlessly and quickly and easily and they can do it reversibly. Uh, Pleiadians have families and um, uh, the children are brought up in families and in the community. One of the advantages of the fourth dimension is that the people when they are born they don't remember, uh, they don't forget their past incarnations. So the knowledge of the past is with them and, uh, and there is a continuity between past life and the recent life. So their children is much more intelligent and much more conscientious than our children. Yet they're not always serious and the Pleiadians have celebrations, holidays, games and uh, much uh, activity for leisure and art. Since, since they are telepathic, the deception is, is, uh, is not a big part of their culture. There is much sincerity and respect. Uh, they have a government and a king or uh, more like a which is very much like a president and the, the king uh, he, the king's name is Kenjin and he is um, he has much of earth human genetics and looks like a human we have had many conversations with Kenjin in the past three years over the channelers through Jim and other channelers Kenjin consults um, the elders on many in many respects of Pleiadian governance 
but the involvement of government in uh, the life of people is much smaller than on Earth. Erran culture is open to galaxies, so uh, Erra has many visitors from all over the galaxy. So it's not only Erran Pleiadians, but many other species are exist on that planet and visit that planet. The Erran culture spreads way beyond the the planet Erra, and uh, it's one unified, one uh, tightly connected culture because. Um, they have a way of quick travel and quick communication, so there is much uh, of activity, of cultural activity happening beyond the planet. Pleiadians have been involved in hybridization with humans, and uh, many human hybrids exist on, uh, in Pleiadian space and Pleiadian ships. Uh, and these uh, hybrids Pleiadian Earth, Pleiadian human hybrids are have ancestry of modern humans and of Pleiadians. Um, they develop their own culture and they study the culture of Earth and are ready to reunite and help with uh, help uh, the Earth humans to build uh, to improve our civilization and to become the part become connected become open become integrated in galactic culture. Ecological ideas are dear to Pleiadians, so they developed uh, a technology to um, absorb the, the sunlight and, and, and um, feed on sun energy. And for that, they use chlorophyll. Then they have chlorophyll in their skin, and their skin becomes green and blue. So. Uh, they color their skin technologically green and blue and make it produce um, energy, f uh, make it capture energy from the sunlight. Many Pleiadians on air are of uh, brown and black color and look like Central Africans. Other Pleiadians uh, look like uh, Scandinavians. There is a great variety, much bigger variety in the uh, appearance of Pleiadians than among humans. Pleiadian medicine is much more advanced the, than uh, on Earth, but it has some similarity with the Earth medicine. They uh, understand biochemistry well and sometimes use, uh, use uh, drugs to improve biochemistry, synthetic drugs to improve biochemistry. The technology allows much more than that and um, and they can uh, uh, modify the body in many ways through genetics and uh, transdimensional manipulation. Surgery uh, on their level is very advanced and uh, they can access different parts of the body transdimensionally and they can speed up and, uh, and slow down time for the purposes of medicine. Many children on Pleiades choose to grow up very fast technologically so they speed up their development to grow much 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 faster than humans but then still they live a long life of hundreds of years. Pleiadians are in alliance with uh, our, our other friendly civilizations uh, such as Arcturians, Lyrans, um, Yael. Uh, these civilizations and Yael, these civilizations are uh, coordinate uh, are helping Earth in coordinated fashion and uh, protect the solar system from intrusions of military from uh, military attacks. On the other side, uh, the aggressive side, there are some of the Orions, some of the Reptilians, some of the Draconians, and uh, some of the Zeta Grays. The idea of these um, attackers is to take charge of Earth and slow down its ascension. To conquer Earth, manipulate it, and to slow down it, its ascension. Uh, there, are, there are many galactic alliances that um, are friendly to Earth and um, protected from the intrusions. 
Uh, some of these are, the main ones are Galactic Federation of Light, Ashtar Command, Gurk Fitnir, uh, the Council of Nine, the Arcturian Council, and the Arcturian Council. In the old days, the presence of Pleiadians which was, and the other aliens was much more frequent among uh, humans. Like in old Greece, people would not be surprised by uh, the aliens visiting the visiting and walking on the streets. Nowadays, uh, nowadays the Pleiadians are visiting the Earth in disguise. They they have the technology and the art of um, look uh, making themselves look like humans and behave like humans. So they visit the Earth in secret and. Um, uh, some of them just learned the life of the humans and some of them are secret operatives that that um, work to help the humanity to improve and um, transform into galactic society. In addition to Mayans and Aarons from the start Targeta Dara, there is another culture um, which is in communication with us through channeling. Uh, they are also Pleiadians. They don't name their star. Um, they call themselves a small blue Pleiadians. They are very different. They have very different uh, biochemistry. They cannot breathe out air. They uh, their sub their, ke their chemistry is very different. So they they are very wide, very short and they're floating, many of them are floating in, in the air. So they are rarely leaving their planet or their world. They rarely, rarely live in their star. And they communicate with the, other, with the world telepathically and um, through other technological means. Uh, so we have been in communication with them and they helped us to understand many details about the alien life. They are not politically uh, active and um, uh, rely on the protection from uh, on, on other species to protect their their world. Uh, the end of the chapter on Pleiadians.